Welcome to the jungle. This video is the ultimate Descript guide you will ever need. I will show you how to automatically transcribe and edit your videos. You will learn the most important features to make great videos, such as automatically shortening word gaps, removing filler words, adding B-roll, auto captions, changing the style of captions, editing the video's speed and aspect ratio, adding animations, cool transitions and effects. We will add royalty-free music and sound effects to our video and export it as 4K with studio quality sound. In the end, I will show you how you can change the background of your video with an AI-generated image without using a green screen. And I will also share my conclusion of the tool with its advantages and disadvantages transparently. Let's get started. This script is one of the most important AI-powered video editing apps and is invested in by OpenAI, the creator of ChatGPT. This script has amazing natural language processing abilities that help to transcribe your raw videos and edit them via its transcript text. Some of the features I will discuss here are part of their paid plan, so you can preview them here and decide for yourself if it is worth the money. This script has a feature called Overdub that allows you to synthesize your own voice and use it as a text-to-speech in your faceless videos. I made a full deep dive video about Overdub feature, which you can find in the card above. Let's take a look at the project list where your projects are stored. To start a new draft, click on Start a new project. This option brings four options. One, choose a file to transcribe is used for auto-transcribing recorded video or audio files. Second one, Start Recording allows you to record your screen and yourself via your webcam. It's great for tutorial type of videos. Start Writing option allows you to write your script in this script and use text-to-speech to create videos or podcast episodes with voiceover using stock voices. Last option, Start from a Template, allows you to start the project with your own templates or pre-saved templates. Let's dive into the transcription feature. After you choose a file to transcribe, this script will work on the file and display the audio as text. Script Editor is where you edit your media by editing text, correct and adjust your transcript. Next to this, we have a section for scenes. Scenes work like slides in a PowerPoint presentation. They allow you to divide your composition into discrete segments and add visual elements like titles or overlays. Basically, you will add a scene anytime you want to change the visuals in your composition. On the right side, you will find the preview section or the canvas. Here, your video file and everything you add will be visible for preview. Down in the middle, you can find playback options like play, pause, play from the very beginning or go to the end. Below that, we have the traditional timeline. Due to the nature of this script, timeline is much less important than in other traditional video editing apps. Of course, you can use the timeline for precision editing to make scenes or B-roll elements like images or text visible for a longer or shorter time. Properties panel allows you to view and adjust properties of almost everything you select in your project, including compositions, scenes, tracks, and visuals. The app bar is where you can add shapes and text to your composition and access the media library, recorder, and templates. You can also publish or export your composition, provide project access to collaborators, and access settings and preferences. Now let me show you how I edit videos on Descript. I transcribed this video using AI engine of Descript. Let's play this part. Winner will come very close to building first artificial super intelligence and therefore total control and domination over world. This part seems too long and I would like to cut this. Now this part is removed from my script as well as video. 
Winner will come very close to building first artificial super intelligence if you want to learn more about recent developments. I feel this part is more relevant to above paragraph. So I will copy paste this sentence above and you can see my video also changed and follows my script changes. Now let's talk about scenes. Adding a new scene to a sentence is easy. All you have to do is choose the sentence you want to add an image and click on the slash. Of course, you can rearrange the order of your scenes in a composition simply by dragging and dropping them. Any visuals, audio or script track content will also move while reordering scenes. There are many ways to add B-roll images or videos to your scenes. You can drag and drop image to the canvas or to scene. You can also click on media on the app bar and choose any file you want to add, including built-in stock videos, text, GIFs, music or sound effects. Here you can search and add royalty-free music to your videos and these options won't cause any copyright claims from YouTube. Once you had an image, you can change its dimensions using the canvas and you can set its duration via timeline for fine-tuning. If you add a visual layer to your scene, you can bring it front or back on the canvas. Just right-click on the visual and choose where you want to move it in the scene. Moving into aspect ratio adjustments. When you hover over the corner of the canvas, you can adjust your video's aspect ratio. This feature is essential for creating vertical videos instead of horizontal ones. Next, let's talk about script tools. This script offers two tools that change how you interact with the script editor, correction, and writing tools. The correction tool lets you quickly click on words in your script and make edits to the transcript without affecting the underlying video and audio. This is especially helpful when you are planning to add auto captions later. The writing tool allows you to basically write your script. Once you have your script, you can assign a speaker label to your script and this script will use its text-to-speech engine to create a voice-over video. Moving on to shortening word gaps and removing filler words. This script allows you to quickly search and shorten word gaps by selecting the spark icon and choosing shorten word gaps. Also, you can easily remove filler words. Now let's discuss adding text and auto captions. To add text, click T in the app bar and choose one of the options from the list. You can adjust the font, position, duration, or add effects to your text in the properties panel. Adding auto captions is as easy as selecting the parts of your script and clicking on captions. This script offers a variety of audio and video effects. To apply an effect, Select the element to view its properties. The most significant audio effect is definitely studio sound. If you recorded sound on your own, I highly recommend you to use it. It uses AI to improve your sound quality. I won't cover all the video effects on this script, but I will briefly mention a few that you might find useful. You may frequently use color adjustments to enhance the appearance of your videos. Once added, you can modify aspects like saturation, exposure, and contrast. In addition to color adjustments, you can also apply effects like blur, film grain, and pixelation to your video. Now let's deep dive into the AI green screen effect. Green screen is a powerful feature that employs artificial intelligence to remove the background from a video. For example, I will remove the background from this video and replace it with an imaginary place I created using Meet Journey V5. Of course, you can add any image or video you want as the background. All you need to do is add an image, then right-click on the media and arrange the order by clicking on Send to Back. You can view the properties of individual clips within your media layers or script. To do that, select a media layer or your script. Here, you can adjust a clip's speed. 
Let's explore how to add animations to your videos. First, select a media file and click on the plus button. You will see four options. After adding one of these animations, you can fine tune and edit it using the timeline below. Also, you can add transitions to your videos. There are seven types of transitions. To export or publish, select publish in the top right corner of the main editor. Choose between the Export tab for saving files to your computer and Publish tab for direct online publishing to hosting platforms. So my final verdict about the tool. This script's transcription-based video editing mechanism is definitely helpful, especially if you are new to editing videos. When I first started with this script, I found the non-timeline-based approach to be quite refreshing and time-saving. However, if you are looking for a tool to apply advanced video effects or transitions, it may not be the best option. If that's the case, I recommend you to explore a tool like Adobe Premiere or After Effects. One of the most important strengths of this script is the integration with stock audio and video, which is really convenient. Another thing to keep in mind, that tool is heavily integrated with the cloud, which means the export process relies on downloading the assets from the cloud. Some features like green screen and studio sound require a very strong internet connection. Otherwise, it will take hours to export your videos. So be sure to have a strong connection if you want to use this script. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about AI tools, you can click here.